Alifone is not a newcomer to the smartphone game as they have produced a lot of devices over the years. The P8 Mini is one of their latest models and it has quite a few features including 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. My name is Linus, learn more in the full review. Just before we start, the phone costs about 140 bucks. I will leave all the links and show notes in the video description down below. The phone ships with all the usual stuff, no extras included. When it comes to the design, the P8 Mini is one of those rare compact phones that has a 5-inch 1080p display, which is actually great. It's sharp and vibrant for both indoor and outdoor use. The phone has a metal backplate, which is great, but top and bottom parts as well as the frame are made of plastic. On the other hand, the build quality is good, I have no complaints here. There is no LED notification light, but we have a beefy 16 megapixel selfie camera with a front firing LED flash. Unfortunately, the capacitive keys are not backlit. One of the key selling points of this phone is the dual camera setup that consists of one 13 megapixel shooter and another 2 megapixel sensor. The loudspeaker quality does not really impress like on most of the budget phones. The fingerprint scanner may not be the fastest out there, but it gets the job done and it unlocks the phone straight from the standby mode. The phone sports pretty good specs for the price. The device ships with an Octa-Core MTK 6750T chip, which is clocked at 1.5 GHz, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of expandable storage. The gaming performance is pretty good if you play the 3D games like Asphalt 8 on medium graphics. However, you should expect quite a few skipped frames if you switch the graphics settings to the maximum. The Elephone P8 Mini ships with the stock Android 7.0 out of the box. There aren't many features to talk about as the company did not add any of them but what is the most important is that the phone is really fast, fluid and responsive all the time, even after installing quite a few apps. The Elephone P8 Mini can take some good looking pictures in good lighting conditions. There is a decent amount of detail, the pictures look quite sharp and in general, these are really decent results from a $140 phone. However, the dynamic range adjustment is usually off in most of the shots. The camera does not really impress in low light but honestly, there are a lot more cheap phones that perform a lot worse than this. The dual camera setup allows you to take some good looking pictures with that bokeh effect. Sure, this is not the flagship grade quality, but the results are quite impressive for such a cheap device. Selfie pictures look pretty good. Sure, there could be less noise, but in general, the quality is decent for a budget phone. The front facing LED flash lets you take selfies at night. Well, don't expect great image quality, but you may find it useful from time to time. So right now I'm testing out the back camera of the Elephone P8 Mini. This is handheld footage. As usual, it's a cloudy day. Not the sunny day because we don't have a lot of sunny days, so yeah. The 1080p video quality is just mediocre. There could be definitely more detail, less noise, and there is no continuous autofocus feature on board. So currently I'm shooting a video with the front firing camera of the Elephone P8 Mini. This is handheld footage, today is a pretty cloudy day. Selfie video quality is again, kind of mediocre but it's possible to use the camera for video chats or other stuff. When it comes to connectivity, the call quality is above average, the Wi-Fi works fine and the GPS is usable for navigation although it's not the most accurate out there. The 2860mAh battery performs quite well. I was able to get over 5 hours of screen on time, which is a good result considering the fact that I use the phone quite intensively. 
the Elephone P8 Mini is yet another cheap phone from China that aims to deliver a lot of value for the price and well, it succeeds in quite a few ways. The phone looks quite nice, it has great specs, the dual camera is pretty good for a cheap phone and I love that the P8 Mini is fast on the daily basis thanks to the stock Android 7.0. Obviously, you should consider some caveats like the lack of notification LED light or backlit capacitive keys, mediocre loudspeaker, average video recording quality, and finally, the MDK6750 chip is not designed for hardcore gamers. At the end of the day, the Elephone P8 Mini is surprisingly decent phone for the price of about 140 bucks. but as always, make sure to consider a few shortcomings like on any other budget phone. It was Linus, thanks for watching and as always guys, if you have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. Also, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and finally, please visit gizmochina.com for all the latest and greatest Chinese tech news and reviews. See you soon.